globalist Marxists are known to be the driving force and top echelon of the United Nations as well as controlling the Democrat Party in America. They and their various adherents and factions around the world say that humankind is responsible for destroying the earth by depleting our natural resources and by polluting the land, the seas, lakes and streams in the air. There is no truth to these claims. It is a political ploy, a lie. Yet the globalist cabal say it is factual and that they have the solution. It is seductively named the Agenda for Sustainable Development. It began under the name of Agenda 21. The 21 is a designation for the 21st century. Agenda 21 is a comprehensive plan of action to be taken globally, nationally and locally by organizations of the United Nations system, governments, and major groups in every area in which human impacts on the environment. The Commission on Sustainable Development, CSD, was created in December 1992 to ensure effective follow-up of UNST, to monitor and report on implementation of the agreements at the local, national, regional and international levels. It was agreed that a five-year review of Earth Summit progress would be made in 1997 by the United Nations General Assembly meeting in special session. The newest name for this United Nations organization is Agenda 2030. 2030 designates the year their goals of global domination will be completed. The Sustainable Development Goals or Global Goals are a collection of 17 interlinked global goals designed to be a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. The SDGs were set up in 2015 by the United Nations General Assembly and are intended to be achieved by the year 2030. The preamble of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, Agenda 2030, says, in part, This agenda is a plan of action for people, planet and prosperity. It also seeks to strengthen universal peace and larger freedom. We recognize that eradicating poverty in all its forms and dimensions, including extreme poverty, is the greatest global challenge and an indispensable requirement for sustainable development. All countries and all stakeholders, acting in collaborative partnership, will implement this plan. We are resolved to free the human race from the tyranny of poverty and want and to heal and secure our planet. We are determined to take the bold and transformative steps which are urgently needed to shift the world onto a sustainable and resilient path. As we embark on this collective journey, we pledge that no one will be left behind. The 17 Sustainable Development Goals and 169 targets which we are announcing today demonstrate the scale and ambition of this new universal agenda. They seek to build on the Millennium Development Goals and complete what these did not achieve. They seek to realize the human rights of all and to achieve gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls. They are integrated and indivisible and balance the three dimensions of sustainable development, the economic, social and environmental. The goals and targets will stimulate action over the next 15 years in areas of critical importance for humanity and the planet. We are determined to protect the planet from degradation, including through sustainable consumption and production, sustainably managing its natural resources and taking urgent action on climate change, so that it can support the needs of the present and future generations. Who would not want to achieve these goals and live in such a utopian world? Beware. The goals are lofty, but, the methodologies, the implementation and the governing of the world they describe can be likened to the gulags of Vladimir Lenin and Joseph Stalin, the reign of terror imposed on China by the notorious Mao Zedong or the racist Hegelian. Karl Marx's nefarious social construct of Marxism which is responsible for the deaths of upward of 200 million people. They, all, use the same siren song the United Nations is using now, to lure hundreds of millions into the webs of Agenda 2030. On the subject of climate change, a simple line of reasoning will help you undo that lie of the left. Ask yourself, do we have air pollution because of industry and technologies? The answer is, yes. But, the Earth has created far more air pollution on its own from volcanic activity, release of CH4 by paddy fields and cattle, release of CO by plants and animals, emission of natural gas, O3, nitrogen oxides, cosmic rays, UV rays etc. So, why the global outcry about climate change? It has been found to be an effective narrative for the political goals of the global Marxist movement. No one can deny our climate is changing. The climate has been changing for millennia. It has never been stable. But the globalist Marxists have convinced enough of the naive among the Earth's population to believe that suddenly, our fluctuating climate is our doom. It is all a grand scheme of deception. Behind the cloak and grandeur of lies of Marxism. About one half of the world's population has fallen for this lie. The poor of the world would see the opportunity to take from other countries what their failed systems and corrupted leadership has withheld from them while living lavish lifestyles. The educated wealthy, 
the powerful and elitist of the left are being motivated to join the globalists' cause through promises of being further empowered and enriched. They will sit atop a one-world government with control over global finances, natural resources, food production, industry, technology, job creation, social constructs and anything that concerns the Earth's population. I will endeavor to take one item at a time from the Agenda 2030, in the weeks to come, and expose the lies. A note to America, the globalist in your country, at the highest levels of your government, are presently destroying your family's structures, perverting your sense of morality, dismantling your legal systems, draining your treasury, corrupting your constitution while staging the greatest coup d'etat the world has ever seen. If you don't rise up, quickly and forcefully, you will perish as a sovereign nation. In fact, it may already be too late. This has already been foretold. The Bible has warned us this was coming. Inform yourself. The journey toward perfection. Your brother and friend. Mike Young.